guys, oh my God. I, I need to do this quickly because I have to get to work. Um, but I woke up this morning. What I normally do is I wake up and, you know, I'll start going through the comments and replying to them for my other videos. But wow, this morning there was a ton of information, just new information. And for some of you, unfortunately, it's going to be bad, but it's kind of the way it is. So I want to cover that in this video because you guys need to know this. It's very, very important. And uh, I, I want to make sure that you guys know it as soon as possible. I will have links in the description uh, to help you out with that. I'm going to show you guys how this affects the bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance specifically, but know that it applies to probably all of the degrees out there. Before I get into the main part of this video, I just want to quickly say that I got a new program mentor just that fast. I requested another one yesterday. This morning, I got an email uh, with my new program mentor, and now I have a meeting set up with her later on today. So I maybe will make a video talking about that, uh, but that will be a little bit in the future. For now, we need to talk about something much more serious. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's just get into it. So the main thing here that you guys need to understand is that occasionally WGU will update their degree programs. That's just how it works, right? So sometimes they add classes, sometimes they remove classes, and sometimes they just create brand new degrees. This is really, really important because what they just did to the bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance is huge. If you are planning on like transferring classes using like study.com, Sophia Learning, Straighter Line, things like that, this is something you need to understand. And this is a risk that you take when you start trying to do all of that stuff early because, oh my God, they just kind of, as of right now, a lot of that stuff is, is not even going to transfer over for you anymore unless you are starting like maybe February. If you're starting after February and you've already started knocking out transfer credit, it's probably not going to count. And I will show you why. And one last thing that I want to mention before I actually show you this is that I'm mainly focusing on the bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance because that's what I just did a bunch of research on and, and accessed. But um, you, this, this affects all of you, okay? This happens occasionally to every single degree. So you really need to know this and pay attention. All right, so this webpage is publicly accessible. It's going to be in the description below. Um, but what you see here is you see general transfer guidelines. These are all of the classes that you can, or all the degrees that you can get at WGU. And I am going to click on the cybersecurity and information assurance degree because that's the degree that I'm using. I want you guys to see that this specific degree was updated yesterday. It's very, very important and so let's kind of go down and let's look at these. What it does is it tells you all of the classes that you have to take. And then if you wanted to transfer credits, it'll tell you some of the things that you can do uh, to transfer those credits in. Now, this doesn't specifically tell you exactly the Sophia and study.com and, and straighter line courses and stuff like that that you can transfer in. I'll show you that. And that's where things really get rough, uh, especially for this degree. But for now, I just want you guys to know that these are the list of classes that you would have to take. And there's a couple of things, uh, I'll show you more in the Excel spreadsheet, but there's a couple of things here that might stand out to some of you that have been preparing for WGU. And the main thing is that you're gonna see classes you never saw before. Uh, health, fitness, and wellness was not a class that was part of the degree plan for cybersecurity and information assurance. Uh, neither was a lot of these other classes here. So you're gonna see there's some major changes. Some classes have been updated to new versions. Um, so for example, business of IT project management, it now has the number of D324, and that wasn't the class number before. So some classes have been updated, some classes have been removed, some classes have been added. This is so, so important because uh, of a couple of things. So if you are brand new and you're preparing for WGU, uh, I will show you in a second why you're, you're really going to get hit hard with this. But if you're already in WGU, and I don't know for sure how bad this is going to affect me, not, not how badly, but how much it's going to affect me. If you're already in WGU, well, what happens? Um, for example, introduction to Python. That's not a class that existed before. I'm about to do WGU. Um, assuming that I don't finish, you know, in the first like month or so, am I going to be required to take this new class? What class did this specifically replace? And so there are a couple of unanswered questions. I don't really know the answers to this. Again, I just found this stuff out, but I wanted you guys to see that there are some major, major changes that have started to take place, at least with this degree. And it's my understanding that that's what occasionally happens. Occasionally classes are updated, removed, and uh, you just have to be prepared and you have to know that that is a thing. 
All right, so I, I made this really, really quick, just as a quick like visual comparison. So on the left, you have kind of what the, the, I guess, old now, the old degree was for WGU as far as the bachelor's degree in cybersecurity information assurance. And as of yesterday, you now have this new program. And so what I've done is I went through every single one of the classes and I just kind of color coded them. If they are red over here on the left, they don't exist anymore in the new degree program. So English composition one, English composition two, introduction to communications, et cetera, et cetera, they're gone. They do not exist. So if you're starting, I'm assuming this is probably going to take effect for people that are starting in February, but I don't know for sure. Uh, but yeah, if, if you're going for your bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance, all of these classes are gone. They, they, they're not there anymore. Uh, so red are the classes that are gone. The blue classes, they still exist in the new program. It's just that they are now updated and they now have new names or new codes. So for example, ethics and technology used to be C961. Now it is D333. So it's just an updated version. I don't know how new it is. Um, you know, if you could, you know, pass with still learning and, and using old material. I don't know any of that information. This is a very, very new uh, update. So that's just so you know that the, they still have the same name. It's just that the particular class has been updated to a new version. And then if uh, if it's green, it means it's the exact same class. So, for example, this one is Legal Issues and Information Security. That's C841. It's also C841 in the new degree program. And then the last one is the gray. Everything in gray appears to be a brand new class. So, you know, there's health, fitness, and wellness that didn't exist in the old program. There is uh, introduction of Python, which didn't exist. By the way, introduction of Pythons, uh, this is a class that, that would have been really cool. But um, yeah, so that's just a quick, quick and dirty visual representation of how this changes because this, uh, if you are pre-studying and doing a lot of other things, you really, really need to be aware of this. Um, again, I have only looked into the bachelor's degree of cybersecurity and information assurance, but things like this change over time and it really, really will affect you depending on what degree you're going for. All right. With that being said, let me get to the worst news here for a lot of you that are planning on, uh, transferring credit into WGU. Uh, this link's also in the description. If you, if you're here under the partner section and you look to the right, you have a lot of things that you can transfer into uh, WGU. One of those is, you know, study.com. There's Sophia Learning, which I actually have a video coming out later on today. I made it a few weeks ago, um, but there's a video about Sophia. And I want you guys to see this because I'm very sorry uh, if you guys are using Sophia Learning to transfer in credits because you're about to get hit really, really hard. So uh, I clicked on it. I'm going to click on information, uh, College of Information Technology, and we're going to look at cybersecurity and information assurance. I want to say this before I click on it, just full disclosure here. Um, I transferred in 10 courses to, into uh, my cybersecurity and information assurance degree with Sophia. And that's the video that's going to be coming out later today, even though it's a couple weeks old. But I want you guys to see this now. I want you to see the effect of what the updated programs are going to do to your ability to transfer in credits. So I'm going to click on this. This is this, is this morning. Okay, look at this. On the left, you have the name of a class. On the right, you have what you need to take in order to satisfy that credit with Sophia. And, you know, there used to be uh, 10 or 11 classes that you could transfer here. As of right now, as of this morning, you can still transfer the, the ones that uh, didn't change, which is the applied algebra and the applied probability and statistics. But look, look at this. Look at this nothing else transfers. There are only two classes in this entire degree as of right now, as of this moment, as of this morning. There are only two classes that transfer into WGU. And so you're going to have that problem where if you guys are already working and, and uh, knocking out classes with Sophia Learning, it's my understanding that if you don't have that stuff transferred in, like at the end of this month, then they're not going to accept it because they're going to be going off of this new uh, this new um, degree plan that they that they have for cybersecurity and information assurance. And so, as you can see here, none of this stuff transfers. I'm really hoping that this gets updated. I have a feeling that over time it will, but as of right now, 
This is devastating because Sophia is by far the fastest way you're going to be able to transfer over credits. And unfortunately, you, you just can't do that anymore. Um, until this is updated, until you know what classes you're going to have, you can only transfer in these two. Now, it's not the end of the world. Let me go back and uh, I will show you that. Actually, I need to go back one more. So I will show you that at least for study.com, which study.com is great as well. It's just going to take you a lot longer. Uh, for study.com, if I click on cybersecurity and information assurance, study.com still has a ton of things that you can transfer in. And as you can see, they are still updated. So um, for example, natural science lab, there's still classes you can do, even though it's a brand new class, and then you go down. So study.com, they still have a great partnership with them. You can still do a bunch of things. I, I honestly don't know what the hell happened between WGU and Sophia. I'm, I'm, I mentioned this on the, on the Sophia video that I'm going to be putting out later on. I noticed that they no longer um, allow you to transfer over credit for free. Uh, what used to happen was when you finished a class with Sophia, it would just automatically send the credit to, to WGU and you didn't have to pay um, the transfer fee through like, I think it's parchment or something like that, but that has gone away. So I don't know what the hell happened between WGU and Sophia. I don't know. Um, I haven't checked the other, the other degrees yet. So, you know, it's possible that the other degrees are still fine, but for cybersecurity and information assurance, you really need to talk with your enrollment counselor uh, try to transfer credits in as soon as possible because as of probably January, if you haven't gotten that stuff transferred in yet, that stuff is not going to transfer in uh, because those classes no longer exist and a lot of the things that were you know originally allowed to be transferred over, it, it's just not going to be allowed anymore from what it looks like. So that's it. I just wanted to try to get a, a quick video out there because I got to get to work. Obviously, it's starting to get brighter, but um, this is really important. It's important because it just goes to show you that you know, if you're planning on transferring credits over like four or five, six months, something like that, classes could change. You just never know. You have no control over that. That's a, a WGU thing. And this is something that happens. It, it needs to happen, to be honest with you. These courses need to be regularly updated and changed. But uh, if you're not already in the program, you know, you, you could be wasting time trying to earn college credit and transfer things over. And it may not actually work in the end. Um, also, if you are actually in the school, uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. I'm not sure if this is going to change my degree plan at all. If, if you know, I'm going to be required to take new classes or something like that. I don't really know. I'll try to uh, give you guys updates as I know them. But I really, really wanted to get this video out here. Just as like, not, not like a, uh, oh my God, everything's going bad type of situation. I just wanted to warn you guys that this is something that is real. This stuff changes, this stuff happens, so you need to stay on top of it, you need to be aware of it, and you know, do not let this discourage you, don't let this stop you from achieving your dreams and doing what you want to do, just make sure that you're prepared, make sure that you're up to date, and make sure that you guys know what's going on. I feel kind of weird now about this Sophia video that I'm going to be putting out that I made a couple weeks ago, because it just doesn't, I mean, it, it still applies, but it's just that, you know, you're not going to be able to transfer as many credits in as I was able to. Um, but whatever, I'm going to post it anyway, because I said I was going to, and it's just sitting there, and I made it, so I'm going to post it. But anyways, that's it for this video. You guys take care, and I will see you next time.